All right, let's start with a simple FrameMaker book here. And uh, we'll just show you quickly what this book looks like. Uh, it's just some documentation for one of my scripts. And what we have basically is just um, a series of heading ones. And some of them actually will have some heading twos that we'll use later in our table of contents. So what I've done is I've taken a single uh, FrameMaker file and split it up into a book. So this will be a good one to, to work on a table of contents and an index. So let's, uh, let's look at this here. So what we want to do, first of all, let's add a table of contents. And that's fairly easy. So basically, you make sure the book is active. And you can go up to the Insert menu. And you can say Create Standalone TOC. And that'll add a table of contents. And by default, it adds it to the top. Or if you have a, an existing component, you can decide where you want to add it uh, related to that component. And you can see that here. Um, it says I can add it before introduction or I can add it after. And in this case, I want to add it before because I want it to be the first component. So now what you see is this little dialog box. And there's a couple things I want you to make note of. One is the suffix. Um, it's a TOC. And so it has a suffix there. We can change it, but normally you'd leave it alone. And then you have the uh, include and don't include uh, list boxes here. So we want to decide what kind of paragraphs we want to include. So at this point, let's just start with heading one. And what we can do here to move these, I mean, all you have to do really is double click on them. Uh, the, the slow way is to select them in the window and click the little arrow um, to do that. But if you just double click on them, it'll, they'll fly right over. Now, the other thing you're going to want to do is to create uh, hypertext links. And that's useful for navigating uh, to your chapters uh, using the table of contents. And we'll show you that as we go along. So we just click OK. And you're going to get this uh, update book dialog box. And this is just prompting us now. We've created a table of contents. You can see it here in our book window. Do we want to actually um, create it or update it? And the terminology in FrameMaker is generated. So what we want to do really is we want to generate this. So if we click update, it goes through the book and it generates it. And then it appears on the screen. Now, one of the things that's a little annoying is, uh, for some reason, when you create this, this is actually going to be, it's not going to be docked. It's just going to be kind of a floating window. So we can either drag it until the, it turns blue here. I think you can see that little blue outline, and that'll dock it. Or the other way you can do it is, if you go up to your window menu, you can choose Consolidate, and that'll pop that window into the, uh, into the tabbed area there.